You won't believe? Sodium ion batteries are cheaper, greener, and ready to shake up the energy game. Can lithium keep up? Good old table salt's cousin is now powering the future. Sounds wild, right? But trust me, it's real and it's shaken up the electric vehicle world. Now, let's set the stage. You probably know Tesla as the king of electric cars, but here comes BYD, a Chinese car company that's been on fire lately. They've already snatched Tesla's crown as the top seller of electric vehicles worldwide. And just when Tesla thought they were safe, BYD goes, oh, we're not stopping with cars. We're also ruling the battery game. Here's where it gets juicy. BYD is throwing a whopping 1.4 billion into a brand new sodium ion battery factory in Suzhou, China. That's not pocket change. Their goal? Crank out 30 gigawatt hours worth of these batteries every year. If you're not a battery nerd, that's basically enough juice to power millions of scooters, small cars, and other electric rides. And BYD isn't going at it alone. Their battery arm called Finn Dreams Battery has teamed up with another giant, Huai Hai Group the tricycle powerhouse of China. Together, they're building this sodium battery hub in Suzhou. Why Suzhou? Because it's already becoming a hotspot for battery factories. In fact, these two companies have worked together before, investing billions in another huge plant that makes BYD's famous blade batteries. So they already know how to get things done. Now, here's where the plot thickens. Rumors were flying around that BYD's little budget EV, the Seagull, would be the first car to roll out with a sodium ion battery. People in the EV world were buzzing, like, finally, sodium batteries in a real car. But then April came, the Seagull launched, and surprise! It was rocking BYD's regular lithium blade battery, not sodium. Talk about a plot twist. BYD hasn't said much since then, leaving everyone guessing. When will we actually see sodium batteries in their cars? Okay, so why all this hype? What makes sodium ion batteries such a big deal? Here's the scoop. They're cheaper and more eco-friendly than lithium. The catch? They don't hold as much energy. That means they're not great for big, long-range vehicles like SUVs. But for smaller cars, scooters, or city rides? Perfect match. Think of it like this. If lithium batteries are like marathon runners, sodium batteries are sprinters. They don't go forever, but they're reliable, affordable, and fast to produce. And it's not just about cars. Sodium ion batteries could also be a game changer for storing energy on the power grid. Imagine giant batteries storing renewable energy like solar or wind. In that situation, you don't care if the battery is bulky. You just want it cheap and able to hold tons of power. That's where sodium steps in like a hero. Here's another angle. If sodium batteries take off, the world won't have to depend so heavily on lithium. Right now, lithium is like gold, super valuable but limited. By 2035, experts say sodium batteries could cut the demand for lithium by 272,000 tons. And if lithium supplies run short, that number could jump to more than a million tons. Translation? less pressure on the lithium market, fewer price spikes, and more stability. Even battery experts agree. Sam Adam, who studies battery materials, says sodium ion could calm the crazy ups and downs in lithium prices. Think of it as giving the lithium market a chill pill. Because instead of everyone fighting over one resource, we'll have another option in the mix. Of course, sodium isn't perfect. Right now, a typical sodium battery can be charged and discharged about 5,000 times before it wears out. That's pretty good, but lithium can hit about 7,500 cycles. Closing that gap is the main challenge researchers are working on. But here's the twist. China has the upper hand. Why? Scale. They already dominate lithium battery production, and now they're jumping on sodium too. Their factories are massive, their costs are low, and that makes it super tough for Europe or the US to compete. Basically, China is setting itself up to own the sodium battery space too. So, with BYD charging forward into sodium, the competitive landscape could change big time. New opportunities will pop up, especially for smaller electric rides and energy storage projects. And as research continues, sodium batteries will only get better and cheaper. If they pull this off, they won't just be the biggest electric car maker, they'll also be the go-to name in next-gen batteries. Think about it, while Tesla is still leaning hard on lithium, BYD could roll out cheaper, greener batteries for millions of small EVs, scooters, and even city buses. That's like having the latest iPhone while everyone else is stuck with last year's model. And here's where things get interesting for Tesla. For years, Tesla has been the face of electric vehicles. Sleek designs, cutting edge tech, the cool factor. But BYD is proving that the EV race isn't just about fancy cars. It's also about who can make batteries that are affordable and scalable. 
If sodium batteries help BYD bring down costs, they could flood the market with low-priced EVs, making it harder for Tesla to keep up. After all, not everyone wants a $50,000 car, millions of people just want something affordable to get around town. But it's not all doom and gloom for Tesla. Sodium batteries aren't perfect for long-range cars. Yet, Tesla's strength is in high-performance vehicles that can drive for hundreds of miles. So, as long as sodium can't match lithium's energy density, Tesla still has an edge in the premium market. The real question is, will Tesla also jump on the sodium bandwagon, or will they stick the lithium and risk falling behind in the lower cost segment? Let's zoom out a bit. Sodium batteries aren't just about cars. They could reshape the whole energy industry. Picture huge farms of wind turbines or solar panels. When the wind isn't blowing or the sun isn't shining, you need storage to keep the lights on. That's where sodium batteries shine. They're cheap, they're scalable, and you don't have to worry about running out of lithium. In other words, they could make renewable energy more reliable worldwide. Of course, there are hurdles. Remember that lifespan issue we talked about? Sodium batteries last thousands of cycles, but still not quite as many as lithium. Researchers are hustling to fix that. If they can boost sodium's durability while keeping costs low, then we're talking about a real revolution in how we store and use energy. Another challenge? Competition. Right now, Chinese companies hold the high ground. They've got the factories, the supply chains, and the know-how. That gives them a big cost advantage. Europe and the US want in on the game too, but unless they scale up production, it'll be hard to catch up. It's like trying to enter a marathon halfway through. Possible, but tough. Still, competition is good. It pushes innovation. If BYD sets the pace, others will follow. And that means more research, better tech, and cheaper batteries for everyone. In the end, we all win. Now, here's the part I love. The what could happen next questions. Will sodium batteries make BYD untouchable in the EV market? Or will this open the door for smaller companies to sneak in and carve out their own slice of the pie? Could Tesla surprise everyone with their own sodium battery breakthrough? Nobody knows for sure, but one thing's clear. This shift is too big to ignore. So, picture the future. You're walking down a street in 2030, and you see a mix of cars, scooters, and bikes. Most of them electric. Some run on lithium, some on sodium, and maybe even new battery types we haven't dreamed of yet. Energy from solar panels and wind turbines is stored in massive sodium packs, keeping cities running smoothly. And the companies leading this change, like BYD, are the ones that saw the potential early and went all in. It's kind of exciting, right? We're living through the next big chapter in clean energy. Whether you're Team Tesla, Team BYD, or just Team Let's Make Energy Cheaper and Greener, sodium batteries are worth keeping an eye on. And hey, what do you think? Will BYD's sodium bet pay off big time? Will Tesla strike back with something even crazier? Or will this open the door for brand new players to rise up? Whatever happens, one thing's for sure. The battery wars are just heating up.